Hi, in this video, let us see what real-time systems are. To understand real-time systems, we first need to understand what a system is. So a system is nothing but a mapping of a set of inputs into a set of outputs. So we have the input space and there are a set of inputs. There is this box which is called the system. What the system does is it takes the input and maps them to the outputs or it takes the inputs and generates outputs. So a system takes inputs and generates a set of outputs. An example for this would be, uh, let's say this real time control system or maybe your camera where uh, you have the camera as input and some other sensors, maybe a mobile phone where you have camera and sensors and then you have a display and various actuators. So these are the inputs to the system and these are the outputs to the system. Now comes the response time. What is the response time? Response time is the time between the presentation of a set of inputs to a system and the realization of the required behavior, including the availability of all associated outputs. It's called the response time of the system. So basically what it means is we have the system here. The moment the input is available, how much time does this system take to generate the output? Let's say uh, we have this graph at this instant here the input is available and at this point the output is available. So this duration, the duration from here to here is called the response time of the system. Now let us see what real time systems are. A real time system is one whose logical correctness is based on both the correctness of the output and the timeliness. So what it says is a real time system is one where the output has to be correct, but also it has to be timely. There has to be a defined timeline within that timeline. We need to get an output. So if this is a system, let's say this is the defined time at this time, we must get an output. So if a system can assure us to give an output within this time and a correct output that system can be classified as a real time system. It does not necessarily mean fast. It, it only means that whatever is the agreement of the timeline, that timeline is met. So it generates a correct output within a given timeline. Let's take an example for this. Say a system has the following features, a button for user interface, user can press the button and five seconds after the user releases the button, a buzzer is sounded. So five seconds is a really long time in when we uh, talk about embedded systems, five seconds is really long, but this particular system can be classified as a real time system because it is giving an output. The output here is uh, the sounding of buzzer after five seconds, exactly after five seconds, it will sound the buzzer. So it is a real time. We know that in five seconds, the buzzer will be sounded. Now coming to the classifications, classifications of real time systems are one is soft real time systems. A soft real time system is one in which performance is degraded, but not destroyed by failure to meet response time constraints. So let's say if the response time expected is two seconds and for some reason, if the response time is not met in that case, the system is not a failure. There is no uh, catastrophic effects and it's not classified as a failure. For example, ATM in an ATM machine, uh, even if a deadline is not met, uh, say it is classified that uh, after you uh, put in all the details within five seconds, the money should be put out. But in case it's not put out, it's not a failure and it's not leading to any cat catastrophe. It's only some inconvenience. Hard real time systems on the other hand are ones where failure to meet even a single deadline even a single deadline may lead to complete or catastrophic uh, system failure. For example, airplane navigation. The system must generate the output within the given time frame because a lot of other systems are depending on it. And failing to meet the deadline of generating the output may result in the crash of that aircraft. So those systems are classified as hard real time systems. Then we have something called firm real time systems. This is not very commonly used for classification, but think of it like somewhere between hard and soft real time systems. A firm real time system is one in which a few missed deadlines will not lead to total failure, but missing more than a few may lead to complete or catastrophic system failure. Now this is where 
uh, interpretation and design decisions come into picture like say for example the atm if a customer experiences delay every time while withdrawing the money it might lead to the bank losing the customer so for them it might be catastrophic so sometimes if it happens it's not much of an issue but if it happens every time it becomes an issue for the bank for the image of the bank some examples of uh, real time system classifications are for hard real time systems we have uh, avionics weapon delivery system in which pressing a button launches an air to air missile missing the deadline to launch the missile within the specified time after pressing the button may cause the target to be missed which will result in catastrophe firm real time system navigation controller for an autonomous vehicular robot missing a few navigation deadlines causes the robot to veer out from the planned path and damage some crops soft real time systems console ho hockey game missing even several deadlines will only degrade the performance so hard real time system is zero misses firm real time systems are few misses soft real time systems are many misses so that is how a real time systems are classified later in the next videos we'll see different terms associated with real time systems for example the period execution time deadline etc and then we'll move on to various algorithms that are used in real time systems thank you for watching this video see you next time